What is up guys, welcome to Show Nation, a brand new video for you guys. Today we're doing a brand new video. This is going to be kind of a, I don't think it's going to be a short discussion, but it's going to be a discussion video about um, just a few things I wanted to talk about with you guys. Don't worry, it's not a channel update or anything like that. Um, this is a discussion video and um, for the topic for this video, it's going to be about childhood. Uh, more specifically on reminiscing childhood and um, so pretty much I wanted to talk about a few things uh, with you guys more more so of like you know stuff that has to do with like things that uh, are known in our like generation you know and like stuff that like seems to be changing you know specifically like you know Toys R Us is now dead um, and you know one of the reasons why is a lot of I feel as if a lot of like uh, kids now they just don't really care about like toys the way that we used to um, you know when we were kids now you know obviously like generations change and stuff so like it makes sense that like uh, you know kids would you know use more technology and stuff like that and obviously Toys R Us doesn't really have that kind of stuff which makes sense why Toys R Us ended up shutting down and then also um, Another huge thing is that if apparently if some of you guys don't know, uh, CD, <coughs> CD format, like you know, like the music format of the compact disc, apparently is starting to go um, like out of stock, like you know, retail stores like Best Buy, like Target, and places like that. And I kind of noticed that recently. I went to Target like not too long ago. I went to CD aisle and I saw that it had like little to no CDs, and I was like, I was like, whoa, like. Like they just like sell a lot or something, but then I, I, it turns out that no one just wants CDs anymore. Like you know, digital is like obviously the new thing. Like it's it's big and stuff, so it makes sense. But for someone who enjoys collecting like physical, like having like you know like a physical version of like your favorite songs, it kind of sucks. But um, you know, we still have Amazon. There's still Amazon for all the stuff that like I've said previously in this video. But, you know, if you want like. Uh, toys for your kids. Toys R Us may be down, but you still have Amazon. Uh, compact discs may not be that popular in retail stores like Best Buy and Target, but you can easily get that at Amazon. So, um, like, it just goes to show that, like, I think that was like one of the reasons why Toys R Us went uh, bankrupt to begin with was because of Amazon and the fact that like anything you get at Toys R Us you can get at Amazon for the same price if not cheaper because of the fact that Amazon has like the sales and stuff like that and um, you know it seems like it's kind of like outbuying this competition same thing with Walmart where uh, now Walmart has to do their own delivery service and a two day free shipping I don't know if you guys seen that uh, Walmart is doing the same exact thing that Amazon Prime does, except they're not even charging a membership fee. Except for the fact that, you know, Walmart doesn't have every single thing that Amazon does. So, um, you know, it's pretty interesting to see how markets change and stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, uh, it's just like, it, it's, it, this is like a like a weird topic, like, because like at first I was talking about childhood and now I'm talking about market enterprise stuff. And then like also, um, you have classic cartoons uh, being rebooted for new audiences, you know, cartoons that we all grew up with in our old generations, like Thundercats, you know, we got the Powerpuff Girls, that's already been rebooted. Uh, Samurai Jack got rebooted, but that was for, you know, the old generation. So you always have like these classic cartoons getting rebooted, but it's, it's either for the old generation or it's for the new generation, the kids. And it could, it could either go two ways, it could go, you know, for the new generation, they'll just scrap everything the old cartoon had and just like completely change the whole property as a whole, which affects like a lot of the old fans that pisses them off, like Team Titans Go and Powerpuff Girls. Or you can go a really good approach with, with, with what uh, Samurai Jack did on Adult Swim, where it catered to the mature audiences. Um, now, personally, I prefer that they have the classic cartoons. In terms of preferences, I feel like as if something they could do in terms of like childhood cartoons being rebooted, um, they could take like maybe 
some of the classic cartoons that are like rebooted for mature audiences on Adult Swim, which is something I actually feel like they could benefit greatly from. Because if you look at Samurai Jack, for example, that thing only had like what, 10 episodes and it did very well on Adult Swim. They did reruns and all that. But if you look at it, um, they could have done a lot more, but since they're on like a limited budget, that was the reason why they didn't do a lot. <coughs> Which I feel like Adult Swim kind of regrets. Um, they're like, man, we messed up, we should have made more episodes. <laughs> but um, yeah, I feel like that's the same That's the same thing they should do with other classic cartoons. Like they should reboot Courage for Adult Swim, have like, the, that way you can get like a lot of more stuff past the censors and you know, have it actually dedicated to the old fans and have like the same writing, the same cast, all that, all that other stuff. Instead of being rebooted for the new generation. Or you can do both. You can reboot uh, the classic cartoon for the new generation and the old people, the, the old fans, you know. So uh, it really just depends. But uh, yeah, saying that uh, this is just just a quick video of some of my thoughts, some things I wanted to talk about in terms of like childhood. I kind of got into a little bit more of like market economy related stuff in the middle, so that was kind of weird. But. Um, let me know what you guys think about this video. Just a quick discussion. Uh, I kind of want to make more videos like this in the future. You know, it would be a little good like break from like making really like you know detailed videos I do with like short films and stuff like that. So um, you know, and it's really fun to talk about this kind of stuff with you guys to hear your thoughts and opinions as well. But let me know if you actually want this to become a series because I wouldn't mind making a nostalgic slash childhood discussion series where I actually talk about stuff from the past like you know PlayStation 2's history, uh, freaking Lunchables, like you know stuff from the 2000s and 90s, um, stuff that maybe some of you guys grew up with and I could just do like a retrospective uh, based off of that maybe. I, I feel like that would be fun and it's something that I've been kind of planning on doing for a, a long time now but I haven't done it yet. So uh, just like putting my thoughts out there, you know, for you guys, if, like you would want to see something like that. But let me know down in the comment section below. But as always, leave a like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more, click that bell for the notifications. And as always, I'll see you guys on the next video, right? Peace out.